Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David. In today's quick Unity tutorial, I'm going to be diving into a very simple inventory system where you can use the numbers on your keyboard to change through the things inside your inventory. As usual, everything will be found in the download link in the description down below. I have uploaded all my files to a Google Drive for you guys to download. That includes models, sound effects, scripts, textures, everything you would need throughout this tutorial series. With all that being said guys, if you do come to enjoy today's tutorial, please remember to drop me a like, comment what you want to see next. Also, if you feel like subscribing, remember to click that notification bell so that way you get notified every single time I upload a new video. With all that being said guys, let me show you the finished product of what we're going to be creating today. As you can see, we're in the tutorial scene that we've been working on throughout the series. If I press number one, nothing happens because that is going to be my bare hands. If we press number two, as you can see, an M4 assault rifle has appeared on the screen. Pressing number three will enable a Glock, and number four will enable this knife. And I can go through each one like so. This is very simple to accomplish. Let's just dive into how I exactly went about doing this. First, if you guys download the script called Weapon Switching, from the download link in the description, we can open that up and go over the script real quick. This is a very simple script and throughout the series we're going to be improving upon it. Right here underneath our public class we have the three game objects that I'm going to be using. We have them all referenced right here. I've named them Object 1, Object 2, and Object 3 because for your game you might have different things inside your inventory. In the void start we want to make sure all these game objects are deactivated so we set them to false. Let's dive in this quick little update function right here. Let's go over this first if statement. So if we press the button 1, which we're going to assign inside of our preferences, I have this set so it deactivates all the objects, so we just have our basic camera showing, more or less everything is holstered and put away. Coming down to if we press down number 2, the first game object, which is referenced right here, becomes active while everything else becomes false. And then that's how it goes down the line. So if we press number three, the first object goes to false, second object gets active, and the third object gets deactivated. Same thing with the fourth one. If we press down number four, it deactivates our first two objects and activates the third one. The reason we have all these ones turning to false here, 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 and everywhere else in this update function is just so we don't accidentally spam the buttons and then we have two weapons on our screen that we can use at the same time. That's just about it for this script. This is a very basic way to start going through inventory. We are going to gradually be improving upon this system. Let's dive back into Unity. What I have done is inside our first person controller, inside of our inventory, if you've been following the series, this is an object that we created, an empty object. We have an M4, a Glock, and a knife all in there. You can actually deactivate all of them, but they are all here placed in the correct orientation that we were looking for. The reason I'm saying you can keep them deactivated is because that script will automatically equip just the hands. Now, if you didn't want to equip the hands and you just wanted to always have some sort of weapon out, all you can do is go down to the script and get rid of this first if statement, and then you can change 2 to 1, 3 to 2, and 4 to 3 just so you have three buttons to press instead of four. Diving back into Unity, since we have these three things set up, we can click and drag that weapon switch into the FPS controller. And then we will assign each one of the weapons. Object one I have is the M4, object two I have is a Glock, and object three I have is a knife. Keep this in mind, object one is gonna be number two, object number two is gonna be the third button on our keyboard, and object three will be the fourth. Now all we got to do is set that up in edit, project settings, and then input manager. If you don't have enough inputs, just add some. I have 30 currently. And then you just want to make sure you have the name as one, as well as the positive button as one. And you do that for each one. So you do that for two, you do that for three, and then you do that for number four. Just like that. Exiting out of that, we can actually go back and play our game. And it's as simple as that, guys. Now, if we press 1, we have nothing. 2 is our M4. 3 is our Glock. And number 4 is the knife. I'm sorry for the short tutorial. I am coming out with another video very shortly. And we're going to be going over HUD. And we're also going to be making it a little interactable. So, say you have the M4 out, it displays that you have the M4. And then if you switch to the Glock, it's going to show that you have the Glock. Until the next video, you guys, this has been User1 Productions. We have gone over a very basic inventory system, but it's very versatile. 
Later on in the series, we'll be adding timers so that way you can actually have a timer between when you can press the buttons instead of being able to press them so quickly that each weapon comes out. And with this little timer, we'll be able to see the person pull out the gun, and then if you press another button, he'll put the gun away and then pull out a new one. With all this being said, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short Unity tutorial. Remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, click that notification bell if you are interested in this series, and I'll catch you all in the next video. This is User1Productions signing off. Peace.